Hey guys, I mentioned in the video here that I don't know how to identify these and look them up to find out what types of figures they are, but I figured it out and I added it to the video, so just ignore that part about me not knowing. Alright, now on to the show. Hey everybody, Jerry's Peace here with another, this is a different kind of video, this is a thrift store pickup video, and I don't know if you're into this type of video, if you're just a card collector or if you're like me and you just kind of like everything uh, but i love going thrifting and i love collecting all kinds of stuff including action figures and cars and, uh, and all kinds of trading cards uh and the list goes on I, I love old paper stuff um yeah anyways the list goes on and on and on i won't even get into it right now but this is a thrift store find here yesterday uh, I was going out uh, to get some stuff, and I had to stop by and get a pair of speakers for um, a laptop. And I thought, thrift store, probably a few bucks. So I went there to get that, and they have a collectible area. Uh, so I went and checked it out, and it's usually overpriced stuff. And there's there's oftentimes things that I want to buy, but uh, the prices are so high, um, just out of this world, that I'm like, these aren't even thrift store prices. These A lot of times, stuff is more than, is more than full-blown retail. So, long story short, I don't usually buy a lot of that stuff. But I would if the prices were fair. But uh, I saw this right here, and I, I kind of saw it from the top, and, it, and I saw $10 on it. And I thought it was two bags of wrestling figures. Uh, and to be honest with you, I was going to buy both bags for $10 a piece. But when I had the girl pull it out, because they're always under, a, uh, they're, you know, under lock and key in a display case, I had seen that it was one bag, and I was like, What? And I, I saw it, and I was like, my goodness, there's just there's just so many figures in here. I was like, this has got to be, that's a smoking deal, because I'm not an expert in wrestling figures. I do love wrestling. Uh, I always have since I was a kid. I, I don't watch it like um, a diehard fan does. Like, I'll just catch stuff on YouTube and, and so on. But I still love collecting the figures and stuff. So, uh, anyways, I got these from a store. Uh, it's kind of like a Salvation Army or a Goodwill out here in Utah, but it's a, it's run by the LDS Church, which is the Mormon Church, and it's called Deseret Industries, and they kind of corner the market on thrift stores out here. Um, very rarely do you find, well, there's Goodwills, but um, I, I think I know of one Salvation Army, but it's mostly the Deseret Industries, or, or, or like how we like to call it, the DI. Uh, anyway, so I found this bag, and I was like, I know that these figures usually sell for decent money, um, even loose, uh, especially if they're clean. Um, and from my research, I feel like they're around at least a few bucks a piece, um, if not even a little bit more, but at least a few bucks a piece across the board. And I was like, okay, for 10 bucks, there's at least, I think, 15 figures. I didn't even really try counting, but uh, I was like, this is a smoking deal. Not that I'm going to sell them, I'm keep them anyways, but... And I don't know if they're the ultimate edition figures or if they're, if they're elites or if they're just like your basic figures that are like 10 bucks at Walmart. But I was like, it doesn't matter. They're they're worth the price and I'm going to buy them. And I'm going to try to put uh, on the screen here who all these guys are because I may not know exactly who they are. Uh, because like I said, I'm not an expert on this right here, but I'm going to turn my flash on here so you can see a little better. But right here, I think this one's a, this is Finn Balor. But, and like I said, I don't know how to tell if it's an elite Um uh, or I don't even know if these dates are accurate on here. Like this right here, that's oh, right here. It says on the bottom here it says, uh, I'll just show you, 2012. So I don't know how to tell. I guess I could look up that code right there, that GFT76, and maybe that'll tell me. You know, it, it might show me a brand new version of this on Google, and I uh, might be able to find out what this came out of. But uh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a Finn Balor right there. So we'll count them up together. I haven't even counted these things yet. And we'll just look at them all one by one. And uh, if anybody uh, in the comments could let me know, uh, basically just let me know. I think this guy's, I think unless he's, oh yeah. Let me know if any of these are like tougher to find ones or if they're all just, uh, I think his hand is back. I think his yeah, I think this guy's hands are on the wrong hands, but we'll fix that later. But let me know if there's anything here that's worth more than uh, a few bucks raw. Uh, like, for example, I don't know who this guy is. He's got a G. I'll have to look him up. Uh, and again, this one's not, this one says 2011 on the feet. So, not sure who he is or if it's actually a 2011 figure. But either way, very cool. We know this guy right here. Let's come back a little bit farther. Now, nah, let's zoom it in. There we go. Just try to get them back on camera here. 
That's going to be Roman Reigns, obviously. We know who he is. He's still uh, relevant now. A lot of these figures, like I said, I don't really know if they're, uh, if they're, uh, if they even still wrestle. That's that's the hard part with a lot of these guys. But uh, he's got 2011 on the bottom of his boots too. But I guess Roman Reigns has got to be worth a few bucks, I would say, right? There's Goldberg. There we go. And I'll I'll put these things on, and I'll get a better display for you guys at the end of the video and, sh and show you them. But Goldberg, we know Goldberg. I mean, I know Goldberg. He was cool back in the day, in the 90s when I was kind of still enjoying a little bit of wrestling. I kind of stopped watching in the early 90s, but I kind of still followed it a bit uh, as the time went on. So as I became an adult and had kids and stuff, there's AJ Styles. We know who that is. There we go. This one says 2017. Uh, I'm not sure if that belt goes with them, but I'll find out when I look them all up and make sure everybody's got the right stuff. So what do we got there? That's five so far. All right, no, that's Daniel Bryan. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if any of these are, like, more expensive figures or or what, but... Or if they're just the base ones. I don't really know how to tell. Like, I, I got a bunch of figures I buy all the time since 2017. I usually buy them when they're on clearance or I'm buying out of store or something like that. And I leave them in the packages usually. But uh, that's no fun. We should definitely open them up and, and display them. But I like displaying them in the packages. And I'll, I'll show you I'll show you one of my displays here in a minute. Of how I have some of them. The ones I like to buy and keep. Here's, that's the man, Becky Lynch. Just showing you uh, everything. So maybe some of you guys can identify them. Uh, and this one's got, uh, what do we got there? 2019. 2019 on the bottom of her her shoe so if anybody knows how to fully identify i'm gonna guess like with matt with hot wheels you can punch in the number on the back of the card and i'll show you right here real quick so if i punch in the back of this right here just htf 34 and then you could even put the dash in 9 coe uh that's gonna tell me uh, that's gonna show me exactly what this car looks like in the new in the package uh, on Google, so and this is a, a super treasure hunt I found here recently. I found this actually in the wild. There's the TH right there on it. Found this at Walmart. I got lucky, and they had just they had just put out a whole new dump bin, and it must have been nine uh, nine cases that they put in there, three in each spot, and because uh, there was a super treasure hunt, and then there was eight treasure hunts. Um, but anyways, I'm guessing maybe that number on the bottom would would give me more information. If I'm if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. If I'm right. I'd like it if you could let me know in the comments. All right, this looks like ta well, I'm gonna say this looks like Tatanka from back in the day, uh, old old wrestler from back in my generation. Um, not sure if it is or not, but uh, this one here's got uh, what year does that say? 2011 on the bottom there. So t I think that's Tatanka, but I'm gonna look it up and find out for sure. Anyways, here's a quick look at my. Uh, kind of see up there some of my guys up there there's a let's see here we got some hogan's i love hogan that's a rob gronkowski i bought that just because it was gronk macho man hogan and uh there's mr t the ultimate one there's a undertaker and there's a hogan hogan another uh ultimate warrior i loved andre too and uh hulk hogan <laughs> it looks some other stuff in my office in case anybody cares um and then i picked up this hulk hogan yesterday at walmart just another another one i'll put up there on my shelf uh and i found a new hogan ultimate too i'll be putting up on my shelf i have to go back and get it at the store i didn't have enough cash on me when i went uh, i just went for one thing and forgot my wallet but all right moving right along okay that looks like undertaker there you know the hair in his eyes there yeah that's definitely undertaker so this is a pretty cool one right here. Nice looking, nice looking piece. Um, 2013 on the bottom of his boots. If you can see that. But yeah, that's a pretty cool. One. Let's just get this up a little bit here. Now right, let's go. Yeah. There we go. Get him in focus a little bit more. But Undertaker, and I haven't even been counting. We'll count at the end here though. What do we got here? This is uh, Edge. I think an edge 
and then the bottom of his boots right there 2011 so again i don't know you know like hot wheels have 2017 and on the back of the cards doesn't mean that they're you know they could have been made up to 2020 uh three <laughs> as far as i'm concerned uh, a lot of a lot of the newer ones have the same year on them so anyways that's a cool edge you got the vest on and then we'll get two more here we'll look at these and then see what see what we think here then we'll count them up and stuff now that's a hardy that's jeff hardy i believe right um get his arm right here jeff hardy there we go and i guess the guys i don't know i'll, I'll look up here at the end and i'll i'll add it to the video but that's a pretty cool one um not a ton of articulation on this one right here so i'm guessing he's more of like what the, i think they call it a basic figure see i'm just a collector i'm not well versed in any of this stuff right here i just enjoy collecting uh action figures since that's 2018 on the bottom of his boots but i don't know what's an ultimate i mean i know ultimates have a lot more articulation um and the basics don't but i it's i don't know and here is the that's Bray, is he the one? He's just passed away, right? Bray Wyatt? Yeah. So rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. The Fiend. Uh, this guy was, he's gone too soon. He's young when he passed away. I think he was only like 34 or something like that. But that's Bray Wyatt, I believe. And I could be wrong again. Uh, 2017 on the bottom of his boots. But let's let's set these guys up here and I'll count them and we'll, we'll take a quick look at them a little closer again. Hold on. There we go. It looks like we got 12 figures. But and another quick look here. 12 figures for 10 bucks. And uh, the thing about this place is it's a uh, it they don't charge a tax because it's a uh, you know uh, what a, a charity place you know. So what do you guys think? What do you think the value of this lot is raw? I'm gonna say it's got to be at least like 45 bucks so 12 figures 10 bucks let me know how I did and if you could just let me know if there's anybody in here that's worth you know significantly more raw by itself um, as opposed to you know you know three dollars four dollars and a lot so all right let me know in the comments below what you think of this video right here and we will see you in the next one and if you want to see more of these thrift store finds and pickups uh, let me know in the comments because I do a lot of these and I'm always looking for the same types of things like action figures, cars, toys, etc, etc. So you guys have a great rest of the day and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh yeah.